We're here at the Burlington Airport, uh, checking out the first electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft recharging pad. The landing area is on the top of the pad, and the recharging system is on the back side of this structure. On the left side, there are crew quarters for overnighting of pilots, and on the right side is a control center and a crew rest area. All the business happens on the other side of the recharging pad where there are arbitrage batteries that trickle charge from the electric grid all day long. And when an aircraft lands, it sloshes all that energy that's been stored in the stationary batteries into the aircraft batteries through DC to DC converters. Uh, over here, we have the energy storage containers. In here, there's, uh, there's about 500 kilowatt hours of batteries of reused, recycled um, aircraft batteries that were used for our first test flight campaign. So this is the power distribution unit where we have a site controller. We have a lighting controller. We've got the 208 volt sub panel of the 480 volt transformer. Uh, the 480 distribution, a DC disconnect switch and AC to DC converter. In the near future, next to the solar converter over here, will go a um, will we'll go an automatic transfer switch from the generator. This is a uh, control center or the pilot lounge area where we, we've taken two shipping containers and we've taken a wall out of them, and they both go side by side, uh, and they get locked on the outside. And these panels actually come off, and the entire thing splits, so it go onto a truck end to end. And in here, if you're recharging upstairs, you can uh, you can hang out down here for a few minutes. Uh, there's a kitchen. Uh, there's a restroom over here. And all the services for the kitchen and the restroom are in this elevated floor and under the cabinetry. These are the, uh, the pilot uh, sleeping quarters. The sleeping quarters have uh, a porch area and a sleeping area here where a full-size bed um, has all the utilities and services underneath it, a full bathroom with a shower, and the entire system is accessible um, by popping the bed up. The, the bathroom here uh, has the, the primary side of the heat exchanger, and again, to keep the outside dimensions of this Connex box standard, we, we don't break that form, so this can be used for standard shipping, on standard shipping uh, systems, and the floor is elevated to enable the, uh, the surfaces to all go underneath. So this is the top deck of the recharging pad. Obviously the aircraft lands in the middle. These are NVG compatible lights on the primary circle and there's periphery lights around the outside. In the future, we hope to deploy these throughout the country uh, at class D&E airports to service the intermediate recharges that go from destination and origin points. So again, the, the system's made up of a whole bunch of these uh, simple recycled one trip use uh, storage containers we pop this superstructure and a helideck up on the top, add a bunch of reused, recycled batteries, and, uh, and we end up with a recharging pad for electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft. Out of these simple building blocks, uh, we're able to deploy a vast network of uh, recharging infrastructure throughout, initially the east side of the United States, and uh, in the near future, the west coast, and then throughout the world.